Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is filmed in the morning. It's about 11.20. Um, I, I haven't even started today's vlog yet. But <clears throat> today's video is going to be teeny, teeny bit different. I am going to be doing uh, my personal... I guess you could call it like personal feelings and reactions to the ser the Netflix series called 13 Reasons Why. If you guys are unaware about what it's about, um, I'll give you a small rundown. So it's basically about this girl named Hannah Baker who goes to a high school as any typical high schooler does. She recently moved to, um, I forget the town name, but she recently moved and the high school name is Liberty High School, home of the Liberty Tigers. <laughs> um, and she finds herself in a very confused world, really confused really strange because she finds all the football players and baseball players and most every guy that she sees basically hitting on her because you know she's obviously gorgeous and beautiful and smart and funny etc etc and eventually she goes to her soon-to-be friend Tony who's like this crazy crazy kid who has this absolutely awesome Mustang, I believe it's a Mustang, red car, and um, kind of asks him to keep her secret as to why he get, he gave her a tape recorder so that she can make certain tapes based on certain people for the reasons why she committed, um, why she slit her wrist and committed suicide. And, yeah, in the end, she did commit suicide, and nobody could stop her. She was hurt. She was angry. She was basically the school, the, the laughing stock of the school, I guess you could say. And she just couldn't take the pain anymore, and that's it for a lot of people. That's it for a lot of people, not, not me. But people around the world, that's it for a lot of people. And like I said, she just couldn't take it anymore, so she she did it. <clears throat> um, first and foremost, I also want to say for anyone that is experiencing these feelings or knows anybody that is, please, please remember that you are not alone in any way, shape, or form, if you feel harmed, if you feel hurt, if you feel bullied, you are not alone in the suicide world, you are not alone, but just know that there is help, and for any reason at all, go to the website 13reasonswhy.info. Um, I read the book in high school, 13 Reasons Why is the book, and the author is Jay Asher. He also wrote a ton of other books, but I'm kind of glad that he wrote this book because it gives high schoolers in that sense, if you read it in high school, uh, an eye-opener based on what actual high schoolers, or not even high school, but what actual adolescents in this day and age go through on a daily basis, what they're feeling, how they're feeling, what people do to make them feel that way, etc. Um, and so I think it was a good eye-opener, and I'm glad I read it. I'm thinking of actually reading it again after finishing the second season. Um, yeah, and so the first season was basically her with all these tapes. That's what the first season was on Netflix, and when I read the book, I first, my first thought was they need to make it into either a movie or a series or 
some kind of show on either TV, Netflix, Hulu, something. They need they need to get the story told in a movie form. They need on a screen. They need to they need to make it I keep playing with my hair. They need to make it a visual aid for people to see, for people to recognize. Now I do wanna say that it is I would say not rated R but the language is very ex explicit. The language is very explicit. A lot of f bombs, a lot of bull crap, and in terms for sugar, honey, iced tea, all that kind of stuff. You all know if you are in high school, you hear that language, or you even say that language yourself. I don't know, but this as a heads up, um, it does have a lot of sexual assault and rape in it, so it is not appropriate for ages under. Or even, I, I would say, wait until you're at least 14, PG-14. I don't know really what it's rated. I think it's rated PG-14. Um, but it is meant for, it is said to have sexual violence and gun violence as well. So just keep that in mind. But the first thing is basically her making these tapes and basically attacking people. The people, um, Alex, Jessica... Tyler, Bryce, Tony, Zach, am I forgetting anyone? Clay, <clears throat> Clay, um, so yeah, all those people, it's basically, but not really attacking them, but telling their story as to why they're part of these tapes and what their reason for being on these tapes are. And so then eventually, as the tapes get around, not, not really get around, but eventually her last tape was said, and then, like I said earlier, she finally did commit suicide because she just couldn't take it anymore. And then I would say my feelings on that when I, I actually, with me, I don't actually like seeing people slip themselves, basically. So I had to skip like one or one or two minutes of it and just get to the brink of it. Uh, my reaction to that would have to be, it, it's something that people go through on a daily basis. It is something that no one can control if you feel that way in, in any way, in any possible, um, sh in any way or form, you need someone to talk to. Like I said before, go to the link below, www.13reasonswhy.info www for crisis resources. My reaction to that would just be, like I said, it happens to everyone every day, like right now, tomorrow, tonight. It happens when you when you least expect it. People do commit suicide because they either are depressed, they either are an addict and they don't feel like admitting it, uh, to alcohol, drugs, heroin, well, like I said, drugs, any anything like that. Um, but as I said before, if you are a victim or know anyone who is the victim of that or is feeling any way in that way, shape, or form, you're not alone. You're not alone. You have a right. You have a voice. Use it. But my feelings when I watched the second episode, I was excited. Obviously, if you watched the first season, you were ready to see a second season. They were absolutely ready, and yeah, um, when the second season came out, I watched, you know, the trailer that was on TV, the trailer that was on YouTube also, to get an entice of when it was coming out, I was so excited, and now that I finished it, I want to see what happens next, and I actually saw that they are coming out. Uh, with a season three. They are coming out with a season three in 2019, so we actually have to wait another year. I don't know when in 2019, but they are making a season three, and it, it, it's, it's probably going to do, this is just, this is just 
um, my uh, this is this is just how I'm interpreting it my self interpretation um, they're probably gonna do what happened the at the dance in season two finale episode and then go on after that and see what happens after that um, if you guys did not see that episode I'm not gonna spoil it if, if you guys did not see season two go watch it now on Netflix came out May 18th the episodes are invigorating they're riveting they are like exploding with so much detail and exciting things that you're not gonna want to stop watching it's that good um, but yeah my opinion on this whole series is I'm glad that they finally came forth and made a series about it because not only is it was it a good story to be told um, with good actress and actors and cast it was amazing they're amazing um, but not only was it a good story to be told but it it's definitely something that everyone around this world must know no matter who you are your ethnicity your gender your ability your if you're able-bodied or disabled like myself you are not alone in any way shape or form if you need help Go to the link below, 13reasonswhy.info. Um, but yeah, my opinion basically on this show is I'm glad that they finally felt to make, they felt a reason, they felt in a way justified to make a series and to let people know around the world that it can happen. It, it's an everyday thing you hear about it every day on new on the news you read it online you you maybe are taunted by it on Facebook maybe you read it on Twitter Instagram Facebook snapchat whatever if you are that person go to that link below and find a crisis resource because you are not alone don't hide yourself don't don't not speak up speak up for your friend for your family member whoever for yourself and get yourself the help you need but back to uh basically with my opinion on the show is it's a very riveting show and it teaches you a life lesson that no matter what you're going through you have a voice you have a reason to use it and you should not keep quiet if you know this is happening because you could get someone else hurt you could get someone else hurt. You could get uh, even your own self hurt. Don't do that. Get help right away. Um, but I think that's going to be it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed. Hope you all understand the message I am trying to give. If you have not seen 13 Reasons Why yet or read the book, check it out at your local library. I'm sure that you can request it just like I had to do. Or no, that was that high school, but just like I might have to do now is request the book at my library. If you have not read the book, please do so, as well as watch the series on Netflix and wait for season three in 2019. Um, but thank you all so much for watching. Like I said, visit the link below, 13reasonswhy.info, if you are a victim or know anybody that does need help. There are crisis resources on that website. Get help now, if necessary. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys can see me. Um. Hey everyone. That sounded horrible. Hello, hello everybody. Why can't I talk? <laughs>